All right, I hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, here's uh, another video. This one is about how to invite people via email to your WebEx events. I've noticed that's a bit of a sticking point. Um, and what I've noticed is that if you create your event inside of Google Calendar first, it may not send out the emails the way that you were expecting them to. Um, so for instance, let's say you're making a WebEx event by clicking on Google Calendar here. I'm going to call this WebEx event from Google Cal. Okay. And let's say that, that this is at, um, I don't know, we'll say it's at 1.45 p.m. today. And again, you just click on that little button there and add conferencing, WebEx meeting, done. It's Once this is connected to your WebEx account, it's going to generate a ID, a link, and a random password for you, as well as some dial-ins for people to call in if they don't have a computer. Click the Save button. Now, even if we add a guest here, I'm going to add um, my personal email and click the Save button. And I want to send the uh, invite to them. Invite them. So hopefully that does it. Now, what I've noticed is that sometimes that doesn't actually send the email. What it does do, even still, is if you are logged into WebEx, your personal room here, I'm going to refresh the screen here. So again, this is mesacc.webex.com, and uh, you log in with your first with your first name, last name. Um, then let's look here. So here it is, Webex event from Google Calendar. Okay, now I'm going to check my personal email just to see if I did get that email. Maybe I did, and maybe uh, maybe I'm crazy. It looks like it did send me the invite there. Now let's say you forgot. So here's all the information I would need to click the link and use the password. Um, and then I can say yes or no if I'm going to attend that meeting, which is kind of a nice way because then it's all in Google Calendar. But not everyone uses Google Calendar. Uh, let's say you, you uh, forgot to invite someone via Google Calendar. Um, you can also go into the web event here. And an easy way to um, get all this information, the link and the meeting number and the password and all that, is just by, uh, oh, and who's invited down here, is just by uh, clicking this copy button. So if you click that copy button, then you go to your email client, click compose, and uh, let's say I'm sending it to, um, I don't know, Joe Schmo. at gmail.com. Now here's the event info. And then I'm just going to command V. So I'm just pasting that with uh, command V. Or if you're on a PC, that would be control V. On a PC, copy is control C. Paste is control V. On a Mac, uh, it's copy is command C. And paste is command V. Um, so I'm just pasting all that stuff in. And when it pastes in, like you, uh, it looks like this should be a link here, and you know, it doesn't work. But actually, like it pastes a bunch of stuff above that too. So at first I thought it wasn't pasting everything, but for some reason when you like paste it in, it like scrolls down or something, and there's more information up here. So you send that information to Joe Schmo, and they're going to get a link here that they can click on, and it'll show them the password and everything like that. So I just want to show that you can get to that uh, all that stuff just by hitting this copy button. You can also add to your calendar this way. Um, if you want to add it to your Google or whatever calendar you, you're using. Um, and the other thing is if you schedule the meeting through um, your personal room here. So I'm going to go home and I'm gonna click the schedule button. And let's say you schedule it this way. Uh, that will also automatically send out an email or that should automatically send out an email. And if it doesn't, then again, we've, we've, I've shown you how to kind of manually do that. But let's, let's make a new meeting, and we're going to call it uh, WebEx scheduled from mesacc.webex.com. It's creating a random password. I'm going to delete these events later, so I don't, you know, I don't need to... Confis I don't need to hide that password because these events are going to be gone forever. So I'm scheduling this one for tomorrow, and let's say it does recur. 
Now, if it recurs, the link that it sends is going to be the same link. Uh, so you don't have to resend the link every time. I'm going to send uh, it to my personal Gmail again just to see how it works. Hit the schedule button. And for some reason, the schedule button was grayed out for me when I was putting in the event before, and I had to kind of start over by refreshing the page. Um, okay. Now I'm curious to see if it sent the email to my account yet. And it looks like there is one. Oh, there was a canceled WebEx meeting. That's the one that I canceled before. Oh, here it is, the new WebEx meeting invitation. So cool. It asked me if I want to put it on my calendar, just like the other one. That's cool. And uh, it gives you maybe a little bit of a fancier little email here. It invites you to the WebEx meeting with the password. You can click this Join Meeting button. So maybe this uh, looks a little bit better for people, and uh, you could use the WebEx interface. The um, WebEx interface also allows you to cancel all of the uh, WebEx events too. So if you go back to the schedule here, all of the meetings, um, if you want to cancel uh, the test one. So here's the one I did from Google Calendar. Now, if you do create it from Google Calendar, you can also cancel it just by deleting it off of your calendar. But um, another way to delete it is like this, just that little trash can. Did you see that little trash can here? cancel event. It'll send out an email automatically to everyone that was scheduled to be there. Hey, it's been canceled. Uh, and again, I'm going to cancel this other test one here. So before I cancel it again, here's the copy button. You click the copy. It copies all that stuff. If you want to copy that and just physically email it, this is not physically, but if you want to email that information directly to someone, you can do that or you can add them as a, a, a guest. You can enter an email here, down here, to invite people as well. Now, you can also enter in a distribution list here. So if you've got some kind of distribution list at mesacc.edu or, you know, whatever your distribution list is, you can enter it in as an attendee, and then it'll send an email out to everyone that's um, on the distribution list with the same link, the join link. Um, which might be handy instead of typing in every single person who's on your uh, in your department. And you hit enter. Okay, hopefully this is a helpful video for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to be posting more videos soon. I've got a video uh, about um, how to mute people and how to kick them out of your meeting. And I've got another video coming up about how to share your screen, how to annotate, and how to even control uh, how to control someone else's screen using WebEx meetings.